What kind of bear is best? Well, there are basically two, wait, there are basically eight schools of thought. But before we get all judgy and start playing favorites, let's meet our eight bear friends. First, there's the panda bear, or what I like to call the roly-poly bamboo bear. These guys live in China, sitting around eating bamboo all day. People used to think they were some kind of giant raccoon, but recently, thanks to DNA evidence, we now know that they are real bears after all. Next is the polar bear, or what I like to call the snow white scare bear. They live in the Arctic and have traditionally hunted on sea ice. Over time, their bodies have become adapted to hunting on the ice, with longer snouts and less developed molars, which weren't needed to grind down the harder food found on land. Unfortunately, this means that these bears may find it difficult to transition to a land-based diet if all the ice melts, because less sea ice means there are fewer opportunities to eat seal meat for the snow white scare bears, this is a troubling trend. Snow white scare bears can be really dangerous to humans. In Churchill, Manitoba, where bears migrate through the town each year, people leave their car doors unlocked in case you're walking down the street and you need to jump into a car to avoid a bear. Similar to the polar bear is the brown bear. In North America, we call them grizzly bears, but brown bears and grizzly bears are the same thing. I like to call them roly-poly danger bears. These bears are very cute, especially when they come out of hibernation and go all back scratchy on a tree. But they're also very dangerous, especially if you get between a mama bear and her cub. Despite their dangerous reputations, brown bears actually eat a lot of fruit, particularly berries. It turns out that because they eat so much fruit and travel such long distances in search of food, they can actually help the plants they eat by distributing their seeds to new areas. Can we call this symbiosis? Roly-poly danger bears and snow white scare bears are very similar. In fact, they can hybridize in the wild, which means a roly-poly and a snow white can make a baby bear together. Would we call that a roly-poly snow white danger scare bear? Next, there's the American black bear, which where I live are basically garbage bears. Not because they're bad bears, but because they love free food, even if it's been in the garbage. They're a little smaller and less aggressive than the danger bears, but you still have to be careful around them, especially if you interrupt dinner. In South Asia, they have sloth bears. Sloth bears aren't lazy though. They're called sloth bears because they have a large curved claw like a sloth does. This is a special adaptation that helps them eat their favorite food. Sloth bears are unique among bears in that they eat ants and termites. The scientific word for this is myrmecophagy. They're more like anteater bears. They have a lot of evolutionary adaptations to help them eat ants, like a long lower lip and no front incisors to get in the way of all the ant slurping. Also, those long and curved sloth-like claws make it really easy to dig into the ground to find delicious ants and termites. Unlike other bears, they have a pretty small home range. Scientists think this is because they just hang out near the ants. Also in Asia are the moon bears, which are also called Asiatic black bears. They live all across East Asia and the Himalayas, and they have a V-shaped mark on their chest. I like to call these bears no leg day ever bears, because they have very strong front legs for climbing trees and comparatively weak back legs. Closely related to these two species of black bear are the so-called sun bears. These are the smallest of the bears, only about two feet at the shoulder. What a cute little species of bear. They live in the tropical forests of Southeast Asia. I like to call them honey bears because they have a reputation for climbing trees to eat honey. In addition to honey, they also eat a broad omnivorous diet including ants, bees, beetles, termites, and fruit. Some bears love to hang out in trees and they have a very long tongue to eat honey and insects with. Finally, in South America they have spectacled bears. Spectacled bears are South America's only species of bear. They were named for the spectacle-like markings around their face, although not all spectacled bears have these markings. These bears live exclusively in the Andes Mountains of South America and prefer to hang out in humid forest mountain habitats. So that's all the bears. Which one's best? Okay, here's where it gets controversial. There are plenty of reasons to love all these bear species. They are all adapted so well to their environments and unique in so many ways. But for my money, there's two bears that deserve serious attention. The first is the panda bear, which is so cute that almost a quarter of the panda bears in the world have literally convinced humans to do all of their child rearing for them. More time to sit around and eat bamboo. For me though, there is one bear that sticks out the most. It is the most adaptable in terms of what it will eat, the most tolerant of disturbance by humans, and the most likely to survive given the way that humans are encroaching on wild places all over the world. It's the American black bear. In nature, the spoils often go to the most adaptable species, especially when things are changing so quickly like they are right now. And my money is on the black bear, even if they do eat garbage. Despite what we like about bears, each species of bear, except brown bears and American black bears, are listed as vulnerable by the IUCN. Most are threatened by loss of habitat due to human encroachment or climate change. 
So if you learned something new, check out the links below to see how you can help your favorite bear in their natural habitat. And we can preserve these wonderful animals for future generations. And of course, let me know your favorite bear in the comments and subscribe if you want more of my videos. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Mr. Harris, class dismissed.